Hi, in this session we will be looking at uh, the Java Collections uh, API to sort some n numbers. Okay. So we have to accept the input that is the n numbers. So I am going to declare a scanner instance. So I am going to accept input from the default input stream. So I will do the import for the scanner which is in java.util package. So n is equal to scanner dot next thing. Because I am going to read uh, how many numbers are going to be passed as input. So here I have numbers to store the n integers that are being passed as input. I just uh, click this so that uh, java.util.array list and uh, java.util.list are imported here. So now I have a for loop to accept the input count is equal to 1, count less than or equal to n, counter plus plus. That is, I am going to accept n integers and then add them to the numbers list. So I am going to make use of the add method. So I'm going to accept the input and add it to the numbers, which is a list as seen in this line number 11. Okay. So now all I need to do is sort these numbers. So for this, I'll be using the method in the collections API. Please note that it is not collection, but collections when yes is there. So collections dot sort. I'm going to use this sort and then say numbers. Right? I'm not going to use the comparator here first. So I just say collections.sort. So default is it will be sorting in ascending order. So now I say integer num in numbers. So in line number 16 it has sorted. Okay, so I'm just printing it. So I will just print, I will print it in a single line numbers and I just give a space okay so now let's execute the program I'm going to give five numbers 100 22 66 34 92 so now you can see that it has printed in the sorted order that is in the ascending order let's assume you wish to sort it in descending order then you can reverse the order. So reverse the order is nothing but collections dot reverse order, which is a comparator, as you can see from the documentation. So comparator which says okay, sort it in the reverse order. That is the reverse of ascending is descending. So now now we do hundred, forty four, seventy eight, twelve, and then sixty six. So now it's in the designing order. So this is how you use the collections uh, API to sort anything. And if you are using your own custom class, it should implement the comparator interface. Thanks for watching guys.